I know there's a lot of people out there who struggle with talking about their feelings. So today, I brought over a very special guest to talk about why he finds it so important to talk about his feelings. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I introduce my buddy Patrick, uh, make sure you check down in the description below and sign up for my email list. One, I keep forgetting to tell you, get a free copy of my ebook, but two, I'm going to be sending out like mental health motivation emails. So that's like something free, you get a little extra crisp, and it helps me so I don't gotta make a million videos a day, all right? So that is linked down in the description, probably pin it in the comments as well. But anyways, yeah, I'm about to introduce you to Patrick. Patrick is from Canada, and he is also a veteran, and he also has been diagnosed with PTSD. So, like, I know I have a very large female audience, but I can relate to Patrick, and one way I connected with him is like, we, we know how hard it is for guys sometimes to talk about their feelings, and I'm very open and honest, like that's the only way I can improve my mental health. But yeah, I forgot how I came across him or met him. I know it was on Instagram, but he also has a YouTube channel. His Instagram is huge, but he does a ton of mental health stuff over there. And he invited me over to a live stream, and we talked for like an hour just about mental health stuff. And he's just like very practical about mental health so like make sure you follow him on instagram and he's also doing a lot more on youtube um you know he got a new dog and he like um built uh you know this van that him and his dog are gonna travel in it's awesome but yeah i love patrick he even like has this little song that he sings about like talking about your feelings i'm gonna try to find a clip of it don't forget to talk about your feelings outro don't forget to talk about your feelings because no one's gonna do it for you. But yeah, Patrick's awesome. He's gonna share a little bit of his experience and how he works on his mental health and what he does and his, his awesome dog is in this video. So make sure that you stay tuned and I'll be back in a minute. Hi, my name is Patrick Valancourt and I'm a 24 year old veteran who's been diagnosed with PTSD, anxiety and depression. And this is my uh, non-official therapy dog, Rhea. She's uh, a puppy, she's a Malamute Husky. And we are uh, just about to transition into living in my van full time. And so that's, um, that's a whole different story. But for me, uh, just focusing on the mental health, converting my own van, that was an excellent project that lasted the whole summer and a little into uh, past summer and that's been great for uh, distracting me from my own problems. So instead of like focusing on uh, things that keep me up at night mentally, you know, like my own thoughts, it's like, okay, well, there's a leak in my roof, so now I'm focused about that. So mental health wise, the, the project of the van has been a great distraction. I got her purely for mental health reasons and she's been doing a very good job of kind of helping me uh, combat you know, my, my illness and things like that. Um, I am currently in Tofino, British Columbia right now. I live on Vancouver Island. I am setting off next week for just about a month's trip down to California and then back up. And yeah, I do mental health stuff on uh, my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram. I do uh, kind of like non-conventional things. I have this little series thing in Bobber that I'm doing where it's uh, talk about my feelings because I realize hey I go to therapy every couple of weeks it was good to talk about it and that's kind of why I started social media was just to talk about my experiences and, and try and find common ground with others and you know be as relatable as I can because it's it's good to not be know that you're not the only person that's going through some stuff right so that's what I do I talk about my feelings on the internet uh, doesn't matter how many people watch it sometimes five people sometimes there's 500,000 right not too worried about that I just uh, like to live uh, the best possible life for me and that's by being out here you know out of my comfort zone <laughs> you know I'm at a, at a secret beach secret beach I actually don't know how to tell you how to get here so it is a little secret um, 
and you know we don't have snacks with us we got like a, a bag that has some water and stuff but like you know I'm in shorts a little chilly I just ran here so if I'm getting a little cold might run around on the beach a little bit with the puppy just like I really I sacrifice a little bit of comfort for things like this <laughs> and that's what's good for my mental health and that's why um, doing the whole van life thing is excellent for me because it gives me the opportunity to just go to like off the grid places like this so that's what I'm about uh, PPJ Valencourt yeah you know I'm, I'm doing pretty good uh, taking care of myself and I hope that through showing my experiences and being very transparent about my emotions and what I'm doing and the relationship between both of them uh, that that is able to kind of help others and not just like motivate others to see someone who's doing well and that makes them feel good but just to be like okay this average Joe is able to build a van without any experience is able to get a puppy without really knowing what he's doing take good care of her and these are all things that are steps towards improving his mental health. So if I can do it, I am 100% confident, whoever's watching this, you can start to um, uh, start a journey towards bettering your mental health, um, just like I have. So that's what I'm about. <laughs> all right, transitions are weird. Have a great day. All right, thank you so much, Patrick, for coming over and doing this guest video. I love Patrick so much. And Patrick actually recorded this a few weeks ago, so he's probably already in California. Can't for remember which part of California he was going to. But yeah, it's awesome. Like, fun fact about Chris, I always wanted to like, take like a cross country drive. And Tristan doesn't want to because she's already had to do that because she moved here from like New York when she was a kid. But I've always wanted to like just drive and just like see everything. I love to travel and everything. But anyways, Patrick's awesome and Patrick, if you see this and you can swing by Las Vegas, let's hang out, let's hang out, buddy. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna link to Patrick's Instagram as well as his uh, YouTube channel uh, down below in the description and in the pinned comments, and it'll be in the end screen, all right? But let me know, let me know um, down in the comments below. Do you struggle with talking about your feelings? Is it difficult for you to talk about your feelings, whether it's online or, or with friends or with family? Is it hard for you to open up? Let's talk about it down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge shout out to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. Oh yeah, don't forget to sign up for my mailing list. But as promised, boom, you can click the top right there to go subscribe to Patrick. All right, thanks so much for watching. Talk about your feelings, and I'll see you next time.